Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a new look at IOBit Uninstaller. This program was an alternative to your Windows Add Remove programs and it will go through and look when it's done for leftover registries, entries, files, folders so that when you uninstall something you truly completely uninstall it. The Windows Uninstaller does a pretty poor job at that. In this case I'm in my VMware and I already have a couple programs installed for no reason other than example. Once the program is up and running, the install is quick and simple. It will offer to install Advanced System Care. They're free all-in-one suite and you can opt out. You're basically broken down into programs as well as toolbars so that you can come through and look at all the toolbars by browser and remove anything that you don't want in there. It'll try and guess what's trusted by a rating, etc. Very, very simple. If you didn't want the VLC uh, Media Player plugin, you could actually click Distrust or check the box and hit Remove, and it'll walk you through that. I'm going to leave it in there for now and when I head over to the programs I've installed a couple. There's two ways to do this now. The first one is just click the quick uninstall when available. In other words this will typically means that quick uninstall can just uninstall it with no user prompts from you. That's typically what it means. Uninstall typically means that you have to follow the prompts that you're used to seeing. When you get done you can do a complete scan. Optionally you can look by size, install date, operation, this is nice if you're looking to free up hard drive space. You can search for a program and you can batch uninstall. That said, batch uninstall, I've run into programs occasionally that will force a reboot and when you come back up you basically lose the scan mode that allows you to take everything out, the files, the folders, the registry entries that we mentioned before. So if you do a batch install I would not do more than three to five programs just in case that happens to you because it sort of defeats the purpose. So we're going to take this batch uninstall and I installed Adobe and I installed VLC Media Player and we're going to simply click those. Once the batch uninstall is clicked you can click as many as you would like and simply click the uninstall button right here. You can create a restore point if you like and if you don't use it, for example, I don't, you can simply click never show this notification. You won't get this prompt again. And off you go. Depending on the program, you see how fast Adobe was just removed and we're gone. So now, if you're going to uninstall three, four, five programs, it can take a little bit longer depending on the programs. So be aware that it's very rare you'll see it go that fast on your computer. So don't panic on that. So let's do a powerful scan to see what got left behind had we used the standard built-in Windows uninstaller. And it'll give you a pretty good idea. Not too bad. It looks like Adobe left behind a couple of items. We have, you can expand everything of course. Looks like it left behind folders and install log, no big deal. VLC Media Player. This is a couple of the cleaner ones I've seen, just I actually call it bad luck for the purpose of the video. I usually see a lot more than this. I've seen hundreds, 500. VLC Media Player has left behind two registry items. This isn't horrible at all, but it's nice to know that you're going to take these out and you're going to take them out cleanly. So if you were back at the default appearance, you could just simply click up here, check everything. There's deselect all, select all, shred the files if you want. Now all you got to do is click delete. And there you go. Now you've truly uninstalled those programs. There's no garbage left behind. Pretty simple to use. Now you can come over here and they've added a file shredder. You can add a file, add a folder, and that way that allow you to take any kind of files, files or folders on your computer, completely shred them so they cannot be recovered. A security thing. Aside from that, you have your log management. Check for updates, user manual, support. It's kind of the basic stuff up in here. But it really does a great job. I actually use this on my personal PC I have for years and there's just no better way to remove programs than having a program like this. And that pretty much covers all of it a lot faster than I thought it would be and I really hope it uh, explains to you why you want to have an uninstaller on your computer. Everybody should have one to get this stuff off cleanly. This is one of the best choices on the market right now and look for the download link in the description below. We will see you next time, I hope. I really appreciate you watching our videos. Thank you.